If you have an image open that you'd like to print, go ahead and go to File, and then go ahead and go to Print. And this is going to bring up the Print dialog box, and this is really expanded for CS3. You got a lot of new options here that you didn't have before. So um, it can seem a little daunting at first, but just take it section by section, and you'll be able to print an image just like how you want on your paper. Uh, first of all, go ahead and click your arrow to choose the printer that you want to print to. If you have multiple printers, you can also use the box in here to type in a new number for the number of copies that you want. If you need to access your page setup dialog box, you can click on this button and you're going to get your page setup dialog box. Now you can go ahead and you can center the image on the page by checking that box. You can unclick it and then manually set how you want the image to be arranged on the page in whatever measurement you want to use. You can also go over here to your preview and you can move the image to a different spot on the page and it will go ahead and update this for you. I'm going to go ahead and leave it centered. You can also scale it to fit the media, which means it's going to make the picture larger or smaller, whatever it needs to do to make it fit nicely in the center of your page. If you don't want to use that, you can go ahead and set the scaling yourself, set the height, set the width, and the unit of measurements that you want. If you'd like to print um, landscape, you can go ahead and click this or you can click portrait to print portrait. You have some color management options over here. Most of the time you're going to want to just um, have those be as the default unless you have some specialties that you need to do for your image and for the color. So once you get it just the way you like it on your page, you can go ahead and click print and then you're going to go ahead and choose your printer again, set the number of pages, um, number of copies again if you want, click your print, and then it's going to go ahead and print that image.